Prom Pet Margaret Cho joins Peyton Elizabeth Lee in Disney 加 rom com. Margaret Cho is bringing her comedy stylings to Disney 加 as the latest cast member of the streamer's original teen rom com Prom Pet. The Emmy-nominated actress and groundbreaking comedian is part of a slew of castings for the film that also includes Monique Green, Erica Himo, Jason Sakaki, David S. Young. An Australian newcomer Blake Draper, Cho and her fellow new castmates joined the already announced stars of the film Peyton Elizabeth Lee and Milo Manham. Prom Pet surrounds one of the most exciting, stressful, and dramatic times in a high school student's life. Prom season. For Mandy Yan Li, though, her attention isn't on the overly dramatic Baling as theme proposals that she and fellow outsider Ben Manham are constantly. Inundated with, but on her future college career, Mandy has always dreamed of going to Harvard. But when she discovers she's been put on the wait list, she takes matters into her own hands. Despite her reservations, she starts tutoring the popular varsity jock Graham Lansing Draper, hoping his senator father can pull some strings with his alma mater to get her in. In teaching Graham, though. She starts to realize there's more behind the person she always hated, and perhaps more important things in life than going to your dream college. Cho will play a direct role in Mandy's college dreams as the witty, sarcastic, and highly comedic counselor Ms. Chen. Green joins the film as the popular cheerleader Latoya, while Himo and Sakaki play two of Mandy's closest friends, Zenobia and Charles. Yun reunites with his duty Camilla M. D. Castmate Lee, this time portraying her character's father Tom. With Cho, the film adds a legendary comedian known for her blunt depictions of life as an Asian woman and strong political and social commentary. She's been nominated for five Grammys for her stand-up routines and her recurring portrayals of a pair of North Korean dictators in 30 Rock earned her first Emmy nod. Though she really rose to prominence through the ABC comedy All American Girl, which introduced many to her style of comedy, her most recent appearances include the HBO Max dramedy series The Flight Attendant and the Hulu teen sex comedy Sex Appeal. Plus, she's set to appear in the upcoming LGBTQ+ film Fire Island. Prom Pet hails from director Anya Adams and was written by Anthony Lombardo. Serving as executive producers on the film are Jake Kasdan, Melvin Marr, Julie Bowen, and Rachel Field. Production is underway in Vancouver, with the film expected to launch in spring of 2023 exclusively on Disney+. Vultra movie in the works with Red Notice's Ross and Marshall Ferber directing. Anime adaptations are slowly becoming popular in Hollywood, and it looks like Voltron is the next one open to get its very own film. Reported exclusively by The Hollywood Reporter, a live-action Voltron film is in the works from Red Notice's Ross and Marshall Ferber. Ferber is attached to direct, and will also co-write the screenplay with Alan Shepman. The project is currently in a heated bidding war with roughly seven studios and streamers in the running for the film. This includes Warner Brothers, Universal, and Amazon. It is important to note that Netflix does not seem to be in the running, even though they released Ferber's last film Red Notice, as well as the animated series Voltron: Legendary Defenders. At this time, there is no real clue of where the film will land. But THR does say a deal could get done as early as this weekend. On top of that, Todd Lieberman and David Hoberman will produce the project with Bob Kohler, who is the head of World Events Productions. This is the company that currently controls the Voltron property. There are no details on what the plot could be about right now. But Voltron is based on the Japanese sci-fi series Beast King Golan and Kikao Dantai Dairiger Shu. World Events edited and dubbed the series as a syndicated show, titling it Voltron: Defender of the Universe. The original series ran in the mid 80s, and the plot centered on five young pilots in a battalion named the Robot Lions, which are vehicles that join together to form a mega robot known as Voltron. 
You can see why many studios would be interested in this given that similar series like Transformers and Power Rangers have done very good business in the American market. Also, since its debut, Voltron has maintained its pop culture relevance with its DVD sales being in the hundreds of thousands. It also helps that the series has seen a few reboots over the years including one on Nicktoons in 2011 and later on Netflix in 2016. Voltron has been one of those properties that has been in Hollywood development hell for years. As a live-action film, it has tried to get off the ground since the early 20s. Studios like New Regency and DreamWorks have all tried, but every attempt has failed up to this point. Red Notice released back in November and quickly became the biggest Netflix film of all time. Currently, Ferber is writing and planning to shoot back-to-back -back sequels for that successful spy thriller. Ferber has become a hot commodity fast and the director's other credits include Skyscraper and the action comedy Central Intelligence. His last three films have all starred Wayne Johnson, so hopefully, this means we have a chance to see Johnson pilot a Voltron. Whatever the case may be, Ferber is a good choice for a film like this given his action-heavy background. We are likely to hear more information about this project once a studio does eventually get attached to Voltron. A very British scandal trailer reveals Paul Bettany and Claire Foy's historical drama series. Last year, the BBC aired the historical British drama A Very British Scandal, and now thanks to Prime Video, the series is getting an international release. As announced in a new trailer released today, fans in the US, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand will be able to stream A Very British Scandal on Prime Video starting on April 22nd. A Very British Scandal stars Emmy nominee Paul Bettany and Emmy winner Claire Foy as the Duke and Duchess of Argyle. The miniseries documents the real-life story of the Duke and Duchess as they went through a divorce that became one of the most public and scandalous legal cases. In the trailer, we see the couple as they revel publicly in the lavish lifestyle that comes with being a Duke and Duchess, but privately the tensions between them are growing. The trailer shows the Duke drinking heavily and being cruel to the Duchess. Additionally, the trailer poses the looming threat of the couple's money running out. We then see a scene of the Duke and Duchess accusing each other of infidelity, with the Duke taunting her about having proof against her while she has none against him. As the trailer winds down, we see glimpses of the public opinion turning on the Duchess as reporters haunt her. The miniseries was written and created by Sarah Phelps with all three episodes directed by Anne Switsky. Phelps has previously written like Dublin Murders and The ABC Murders. Meanwhile, Switsky has previously directed episodes of shows like Black Mirror and Castle Rock. A Very British Scandal is a sequel series to 2080's A Very English Scandal which told the story of a British political and sex scandal from the 1970s. Both shows come from the same production company, Blueprint. A Very English Scandal is currently available to stream on Prime Video. Stream A Very British Scandal when it comes to Prime Video on April 22nd. Gabriel Iglesias to produce and star in animated movie I, Chihuahua at Netflix. Fame comedian Gabriel Iglesias is reuniting with director and animator Jorge Gutierrez in an upcoming project for Netflix titled I, Chihuahua. According to reports from Deadline, the animated film is the Gutierrez's first feature film for the streamer. Iglesias is set to produce alongside starring in the film. I, Chihuahua follows the story of Chao Chao, a masked look at the Chihuahua. After discovering a threat to his family and home, Chao Chao dons the mask to take on the challenge of a lifetime, facing various international animal locadors as they compete in all out fighting tournament. But these challengers are no match for Chao Chao's biggest opponent, a terrifying creature called Chimuko or the Widowmaker. A true underdog, 
Churchill has quite the journey ahead of him if he wants to fight for his family. I cannot wait for everyone to see this wonderful film that celebrates underdogs in and out of the ring," said Iglesias in a statement. It has action, drama, laughs and twists and turns, like any great lucha storyline movie should have. The comedian and actor has worked with Gutierrez on a number of projects such as The Book of Life and Ma and The Free, an animated fantasy series Gutierrez recently developed for Netflix. The series won two Annie Awards for Best Animated Television for Children and Outstanding Achievement for Music. The script for I, Chihuahua is written by Gutierrez alongside Doug Landale and Candy Kelty Landale. When I first had the idea of a Lucha Libre cartoon, there was no one else I wanted to partner with other than Jorge Gutierrez. Stated Iglesias, he has a brilliant mind that can expand this story in unimaginable ways. Gutierrez shared the sentiment commenting, To finally tag team a movie with my good friend and creative partner Gabriel Fluffy, Iglesias is a dream come true. Our internationally epic and heartfelt film will be a hilarious love letter to Lucha Libre, Mexican wrestling, movies, fighting video games and underdog sports films. I don't want to overpromise, but this will be the greatest masked chihuahua film ever made. What a time to be alive. Ok stay tuned to our channel. I'll be providing you with up-to-date reliable movie news. Enjoy.